ladies and gentlemen, what an amazing evening we're having. Are you having a good time? Excellent. I'm having a lovely time. I'm, I'm a bit flustered, though, and I, I, I just want to get it out of the way and tell you why I'm a bit flustered, um, and that is that I'm 43, and I don't know how that occurred. <laughs> I feel like I went to sleep last night when I was 22, and I woke up wearing a photocopy of my mum's face. <laughs> I mean, statistically, I am now middle-aged. Like, when I walk past a construction site, I have to whistle it myself. <laughs> I feel like I'm mutton dressed as, when the fuck did that happen? <laughs> Weird. I mean, logically, I know that I'm getting older. My whole body is telling me that I'm getting older. Well, these aren't. They're telling me I'm 15 and there's still hope. <laughs> it's ridiculous. My body has started to make noises it hasn't asked permission for. And it's not even it's just me. It's happening to my husband. He tried to move a chest of drawers the other day and it made him fart. <laughs> it, was like, it was like he couldn't move it, so he had to put his booster jets on. <laughs> I shouldn't, I shouldn't make fun of him. I am happily married. Um, my husband's not, but 50% is a pass. <laughs> but I just don't, I don't feel like I'm the age that I am. Does anyone feel their chronological age? Does anyone actually feel like how old they are? No, I asked an audience this the other night and this guy goes, I do. And I went, how old are you, mate? And he goes, I'm 19. And I went, well, fuck you, buddy. <laughs> like a grown-up like I've got a four-year-old kid and most days I feel like no oh, I should not be in charge of that <laughs> I reckon I'm turning into my mum though because we're both quite anxious I, I come from quite an anxious family I describe us as um, our pessimistic optimists we believe the glass is half full but we're worried someone's put bleach in it <laughs> like, whatever great time we're having we can work out how it's gonna turn to shit like we just other people do Sudoku we do worst case scenario <laughs> Like, for example, if my husband hasn't texted me back within 10 minutes, it's because he's dead. <laughs> uh, if my son hasn't called out during the night, dead. Posty hasn't come today, dead. Like, it's just, it's ridiculous. And my parents were quite overprotective when I was growing up. Um, I had to wear my bike helmet all the time. Um, I wasn't even allowed to ride a bike. Uh, <laughs> and the other thing that we used to do was when it was my birthday, I was never allowed to play pin the tail on the donkey because pins are really dangerous and donkeys are intimidating. <laughs> So we played the safer version, which was called Describe Where You'd Put The Pin If There Was A Donkey. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, our next act is no donkey.